words can be. Happy New Year guys! I'm Katie, welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to bring you my December wrap up, all the books that I managed to read in December and their ratings and if I've done a review on said book then I will leave the link down below in the description and I'll also let you guys know as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first book that I read in December, it was a reread and this is For Fallen by Lauren Kate which is the first book that is in this paranormal series that's a about angels there was also a movie that was done about this book um, and it's on Netflix it's probably still on Netflix and I think if you just sort of like take the movie into its own perspective as in like they took the main storyline and did their own thing with the movie then you'll probably like it um, but if you want to do a book to movie adaptation sort of thing there's a lot of differences and yeah, very different so I just sort of like put my mind and thought you know it's, it's a decent movie on its own but comparing them yeah they're not really that much alike um but i did enjoy rereading this book again and just sort of like going back into it again and i did do a non-spoiler book review video on this so i will link that down below in the description um but all in all really enjoyed rereading and a five out of five a Kit Kats. The next book that I read in December was We're All Wonders by RJ Palacio and this lovely author actually wrote as well as illustrated this version. Um, so this is kind of like I suppose in a way like the, a children's version of Wonder but just sort of like with really awesome artwork in it and there's just a little storyline that's along with it. So for example, I no, I'm not an ordinary kid. And then you've got a little image that goes along with it. So I think this is really, really good if you want to give it to a child as a little child's book. I think it's really good. It kind of teaches them a little message, but for fans of Wonder, I think it's perfect as well. And I gave this book five out of five Kit Kats. The third book that I completed in December was Mistletoe and Mr. Wright by Lila Payne. This is a book that contains two Christmassy novellas, the first of which Mistletoe and Mr. Wright and the second of which is Sleigh Bells and Second Chances. Now I did do a non-spoiler book video review on this so I'll link that down below in the description box if you want to check more of my thoughts in detail but I thought it was really really good as like two little Christmassy cute reads that kind of like intertwine with each other. Um, yeah. I loved it and five out of five Kit Kats. The fourth book that I read and completed in December was Meteor Prince volume number two. This is by Mecha Tanaka and there's only actually two volumes in this manga series and I actually really really enjoyed this one and when reading like the end of this book like what the author actually wrote they did intend it for us to hang on to the edge and want more so that's how it ends um, but I thought it was like a really really fun and enjoyable manga series. I feel like it could have been extended I would have honestly read more and more of these volumes um, but like for the two that are the only two released I, I really really enjoyed them and I gave this one a 5 out of 5 Kit Kats as well. The next book that I read and completed in December was Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon volume number one by Naoko Teki Uchi and like I say it's volume number one and it sort of like rekindled my feelings on Sailor Moon like when I first grew up I did kind of like watch it as a kid so loads of nostalgic feels along with this one um the only thing that I didn't really like with this manga volume is there was a, a like a recaption of the story and everything and other characters in every single chapter and I was like it's not really needed in a manga volume because it's so short you fly through mangas like I fly through these so much quicker than I do normal books just because they're mostly like pictures and stuff really liked the artwork of it as well I thought it was like really really cool so here's like an example of it all um yeah I really really liked it and I really enjoyed it um but yeah it's just a disappointment that, that was the only thing that sort of let it down um but other than that I gave it like 4.5 Kit Kats because I just love the rest of it the sixth book that I read and completed in December was Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. This is a very, very highly anticipated read for people and it's on a lot of people's favourite books of the year. And uh, spoiler alert, it's going to be on mine because like this 
was a fantastic book and I loved it and enjoyed it. I did do a non-spoiler book video review on this so I will link that down below in the description if you want to check more of my thoughts but I thought it was really really good and the representation of social anxiety and anxiety in general really like was really really good and I loved it to pieces. The next book that I read in December was K-O-N or Con um, and this is volume number one. This is by Keki Fly um, and this is about some young girls who start a band and yeah I thought it was like really enjoyable there were times when I kind of got a little bit dragged away from the story it kind of did drag in little places but other than that I did like really really like it and I gave this four out of five Kit Kats and the last three books that I read in December they all go together because they're in the same series so I read volumes number one two and number three online um, of Ami Emo and uh, this is by Haruko Kuramatani and <laughs> this is a really really fun series I'm really enjoying it um, considering I read like all three um, I read like volume number two and I was like I need to know what happens next because volume number two ends on like a robot massive sort of like cliffhanger and it's just like mm. but this is a really really interesting manga series that is about a brother and a sister and um, one day they have an accident and then they switch bodies um, but then they find out something like about each other um, and there's just sort of like this romance coming from one side of the brother or sister I'm not really going to tell you which because I don't want to spoil you and I don't want to spoil you on like the secret that they find out um, but yeah because of that like there's a little romance and kindling thing that's going on and yeah it's really really funny how like one of them is just trying to get like the other one and like the things that the different things that are happening in their lives like how everything is changing and all that um yeah it's a really really fun sort of really funny hilarious series and not for the faint-hearted let's just say that um but yeah it's, it's it's really really fun and i gave all three volumes five out of five kick ads so all in all guys i think i read like 10 books and i know some of them are graphic novels but i still needed to get them off my tbr so i felt like really really good in december and i read some like proper physical books as well um, and December was a busy month for me um, just like with life and with work in general um, and so I'm really really proud of my reading and that I managed to complete my Goodreads goal I read like 52 books out of 50 which is really good um, because I was on like 47 by like the 27th of December and I was like Arr! so like at, at first I was like I've got some graphic novels I need to read so I could like use them as a little break and I found that they really helped just reading a couple of them before Eliza and her monsters and then like a couple after it just, I found like it's a really really good break in between reading heavy sort of books um like I, I loved Eliza so much that I was just like oh, I don't know what to read next so I was like you know what let's take a little break read a couple of graphic novels and then I went into my next book which I'm perfectly fine with so it's really good that I'm not in a reading slump as well um, so I'm super super happy um, but yeah that's the end of my December wrap up I hope you guys have enjoyed it do give me a thumbs up if you have and let me know down below in the comments how you did in the month of December how many books did you read what was your favourite book of the month and so on and so forth honestly if I had to say my favourite it would probably have to be Eliza and Hum Monsters it was just that good it was tip top it was awesome um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching my video as always. Keep smiling, keep reading and be happy. My name is Katie and I'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video. Bye!